we at ABC 17 News have been following for more than a year now. And most recently, we've seen the resignations of the superintendent and the high school principal. And tonight, ABC 17's Daniel Wynn sat down with counselors and one family who had to pull their child out of school because they say he was bullied so badly. And Daniel, this is just one of several families that have actually reached out to you. Over the last year, several of you in Jefferson City have reached out to ABC 17 News to tell us about the severity of the bullying problems. Time and time again, we've heard from parents who say the problems are being swept under the rug and appear to be spiraling more out of control every day. I talked to one family who tells me their son first started getting bullied in the fourth grade and it ultimately ruined their lives. In the end, it led to him running away two days before his high school graduation and they haven't seen him since. We help you love him, and we miss him, and we want him to come back. Sally and Nathan Perkins tell me they've had their son Austin in and out of schools in Jefferson City, private and public. The first problems came up at St. Joseph's in the fourth grade. So they switched schools to Immaculate Conception in the eighth grade, and it continued. Finally, in the ninth grade, their son went to Helias, and yet again, some of the same kids continued with the same tactics, making life nearly unbearable. His freshman year, he started to withdraw from everybody. And um, then the, the summer of his, between his freshman and sophomore year, he wouldn't even leave the house. Wouldn't talk about it, wouldn't, you know, just didn't want to hang out with anybody. Sophomore year, he started back at Helias again, but by the, end, by the middle of that year, at Christmas time, he just said to, he said, Mom, he said, I just, I just can't keep going anymore. But before things would get better, they would get worse. As they went to school officials for help, they tell me they were turned away, being told kids will be kids, and he needed to have thicker skin. No solution to a problem that was taking an emotional toll on their son, beating him down day by day, and destroying his self-confidence and ability to ever bounce back. He would sit by himself at lunch. they make fun of him. And um, there was no help at all. I mean, everybody said, well, you know, they're just teenagers. It's, you know, first of all, it was just his freshman year. He's adjusting. But we, but we knew that it wasn't. We knew there was something. We knew that these kids... Um, we're there and you know and I we would talk to him about do you want us to go talk to the kids or call the parents oh no mom don't you know don't do anything like that halfway through his sophomore year they were at their wits end Austin was headed down a dangerous path becoming more and more reclusive they pulled him out of school at his request and started visiting doctors well it was awful it was we had no say in anything and it made us feel like well what are, maybe we're doing maybe we're that helicopter parent that shouldn't be involved but we've been we've been watching this happen for so many years and then when it when it when he hit rock bottom um it was too late but with this textbook case of bullying escalated to the worst possible scenario, the Perkins were overwhelmed and visited several local doctors, even the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. Dr. Janice Neer lives just outside of Jefferson City and sees bullying cases all the time. She tells me sometimes the most shocking part of these cases can be the bullies don't even know they're bullying. Particularly adolescent girls, you know, they uh, get in these squabbles where um, we're going to exclude somebody and we're not going to let them sit in our table anymore, and we're only going to be playing with us. And if you don't, you're not going to be part of my my group. Well, they might not know that that is bullying. You know, they may just think that's just normal behavior. Dr. Neer says there are warning signs to watch for if you think your child might be the victim of bullying. Avoiding conversations about school, wanting to stay home from school, and avoiding the bus are just a few. She tells me there's one key step once you've determined there could be a problem. Open line of communication. Uh, don't put your child down. Take it seriously and do something. Don't sit with the information, but get people involved so that it can be stopped. One of the biggest problems out there is bystanders being afraid to talk. She says the bullying will continue to be swept under the rug if kids don't learn to grow up and stand up to other kids by telling adults. She says the biggest misconception out there is that there is no help and those who are being bullied can't bounce back. Her best advice to the parents and those being bullied is that there is hope and the key 
is to keep searching for that one individual who can help. Daniel, thank you. And right now, the Jefferson City School Board is in the process of investigating allegations of out-of-control bullying and teachers reportedly being threatened at Moreau Heights Elementary. We'll, of course, let you know if the board takes any action to curb the behavior issues.